Dr. Hugh Ross is an astronomer with Masters and PhD from the University of British Columbia and was postdoctoral research fellow at Caltech before starting Reasons to Believe, an old Earth creationism ministry that, to quote, demonstrates that sound reason and scientific research, including the very latest discoveries, consistently support rather than erode confidence in the truth of the Bible and faith in the personal transcendent God revealed in both scripture and nature. Here he is in a recent interview. I mean, the case of astronomers going to a meeting, what we've been discovering over the past 50 years is that evidence has been accumulating uh, for a hot Big Bang inflationary creation event for the universe with an actual beginning of space and time, uh, which is consistent with what the Bible has always predicted about the universe, namely that the universe indeed is traceable back to an actual space-time beginning where there's continuous expansion. I mean... One factor that brought me to faith in Jesus Christ was that the the Bible had predicted thousands of years ahead of time that we do indeed live in a continuously expanding universe with constant laws of physics, with a space-time beginning, uh, where the whole universe is dominated by a law of decay. And uh, the progress of the past 50 years of uh, cosmological research has been, every year, strengthening uh, those biblical conclusions. Yeah, that's all well and good, but uh, never mind that the story you're saying contains this incredible prescience is one in which a talking snake convinced a woman made out of a man's rib to eat magical fruit in an idyllic magical garden. Come on, Dr. Ross, we've read this book. This is a book that tells us not only of a talking snake, but of a talking donkey too. It incorrectly classifies animals. It tells of individuals living for hundreds of years, of food falling from the sky, of long hair causing a person to have superhuman strength. It says that earthquakes, droughts, and floods are the manifestations of the will of an angry god, that dead people walked around the streets on one occasion. Its central character says that disease is caused by demonic possession. This book is bursting at the seams with wrongness. Come on, if you're not willing to accept things like talking animals and the absurd medical advice that's given in all seriousness in books like Leviticus, if that doesn't count against the Bible claim to be a source of scientific truth, then how on earth do you justify what you're doing as anything other than cherry-picking? I needn't bother. See, I've already put in the scriptures that the earth hangs upon nothing over empty space. And let's face it, I mean, how is that not obviously and irrefutably divinely revealed scientific knowledge about the nature of the universe? Well, you also told them that the Earth sits upon pillars. No, no, that one's just metaphorical. Oh, and the other one's not? No, the other one's scientific fact. It's, you know, it's hanging in in space. Well, how are people meant to tell the difference? Well, the ones that are correct are facts, and the ones that aren't correct are just metaphor, of course.